Hello everyone, as my latest trip to China is drawing to a close, I just wanted to reflect upon the trip and the purposes of my trips here and why we try to build these strong relationships with our manufacturing partners in China. China is all about relationships. For example, our bike manufacturing facilities receive hundreds of contact requests and requests to assemble electric bikes every single week and they have to make a decision of who they follow up with. It's impossible for them to follow up with everyone because a lot of these people are just shopping around and they've learned from experience that expending huge amounts of effort in these requests are not fruitful for them as a business model. So the reason why I travel to China in order to meet these these players and to develop our long-term relationships is to basically put a face to the email address. For me it's really important to develop and build these relationships and make them aware that uh, I'm here in it for the long term as a Stark Drive. We're not a fly-by-night company and we never have been. We've been where our focus has always been to develop the most affordable electric bikes in the world. And of course, as the technology changes, the types of electric bikes that we can offer to our customers changes as well. Another misconception here in China is people think that all these electric bikes are assembled or put together in large factories. That actually isn't the case. In some, in some cases this is true of course, depending on the volume of bicycles or any product to be manufactured. In huge volumes, for example, how Apple manufactures their iPhone, these are done in huge factories, yes. But when we're producing almost a boutique style of electric bike that isn't available on the market, that's completely new to the market, the facilities such as the one Apple uses are simply not interested in working with us. Uh, we actually, and in, in order to save costs as well, we go to the super, super small players and they're the ones that help us to fabricate our bikes, uh, smelt the aluminum together, uh, manufacture our battery packs, uh, paint our frames and do the final assembly. Another reason why I like to travel to China and meet all of our partners specifically is to help to enable specificity in what we're ordering. For example, in our batch one bikes, we had requested battery packs and we received battery packs. However, there were certain small details that weren't done correctly. For example, the battery packs would always remain on. There was no off switch. Even if you had turned the key to the off position, the battery wouldn't actually turn off. There'd always be a parasitic draw, which drained the battery over time. And by visiting the factories and speaking with them, we can be a lot more specific with our requests. None of these requests are difficult to achieve. Uh, to have an off switch for the battery pack was a very simple request to achieve, but it's something that we have to specify in order for them to know that we want to have this function. And when you're designing an entire bike from the ground up, it's even more important to visit the factories and to discuss every single component with the factories, especially in the case of Stark Drive Torque, we're adding a lot of technology to the bike which hasn't been added before and is normally only seen in much higher priced electric bikes which are designed outside of China and simply manufactured here in China with uh, pre-made parts. For Stark Drive Torque we want to add things like fingerprint recognition. This requires a lot of uh, fine tuning and connection to the controller. The fingerprint recognition scanner doesn't operate at the same voltage as Stark Drive Torque so we need to adjust this and especially when we're designing a one-off or prototype models of Stark Drive, you have to do a lot of adaptation work because players such as Bafeng, who is our controller supplier as well as the mid-motor drive supplier for Stark Drive Torque, won't redesign the controller for just a few one-off samples. However, they are interested in working with us and to provide us with componentry to the end users, such as myself, uh, my factory, for example, I had asked them to contact Bafang, and since you know they're both in China, they both speak Chinese, and it might be easier for them to.
contact each other that way. And uh, Bafeng wasn't interested in helping them out or responding to the requests. That was simply because Bafeng also has the same situation where they receive so many requests on a daily basis that they filter these requests out. If you have a small order, such as half a dozen motors, they're not interested in even talking to you. They're interested in the large orders. And with their new motors that we're going to be using, the Bafeng Ultra Max and the M400 motors, they're really not widely available on the market yet. So there hasn't been a adoption for this motor or even tweaking the frames in order to add this style of motor. You could count on one hand the number of electric bike manufacturers that are using this motor outside of China, for example. As always, Stark Drive's number one goal has been to manufacture the world's most affordable electric bikes. And uh, we've achieved that goal twice now. With Stark Drive, when we originally launched, we started at an unbelievable price of 399 US dollars which got you a fully functional electric bike. And then with the launch of Mini, which was slightly less successful, I have to admit, but we still achieved our company goal of launching the most affordable electric bike in the world. And with Mini, we launched it for 299 US dollars, which is an amazing value for a small portable electric bike. The next phase of our master plan is to launch Start Drive Torque. And Start Drive Torque is gonna to be amazing again. Our base model Start Drive Torque which will launch for under $1,000, will beat out all of the hub motor competition on pretty much every level. If you want to talk about acceleration, torque, max speed, uh, total trip duration, uh, amount of distance traveled, when we launch Dark Drive Torque, it will blow all of our similarly priced competition out of the water. All of our other competition at this price point is using a hub motor based electric bike system and you simply can't compete with the torque based system. Uh, the hub motor based systems top out at around 80 meters of torque based on even a 750 watt hub motor drive whereas our base model of Stark Drive Torque which is going to be operating at 250 watts already achieves 95 newton meters of torque. Furthermore, Start Drive Torque will instantaneously respond to you based on the amount of pressure that you're applying to the pedals as opposed to having to pedal several times for the motor to kick in. Of course, you can always use the included throttles, which uh, a lot of our hub motor based competition include, as does Start Drive. However, these aren't legal in a lot of places, so you do run into the issue there that you could have to pay a fine or won't be allowed to import the bike into your country. There's no such problems with torque-based electric bikes. And also for Stark Drive Torque, we're going to be introduce, introducing some really cool features such as fingerprint recognition and wireless charging for your mobile phone, NFC, as well as improving the battery pack substantially, both in terms of range, functionality, and voltage. We're increasing the voltage of the pack to 48 volts. We're adding a high power USB output onto the battery pack so you can take it with you and charge whatever device wherever you are, as long as it's based on USB. And furthermore, with the wireless charging feature, you'll be able to insert your mobile phone into the cradle on the bike. It'll charge while you're riding, getting to your destination, and you'll arrive with your mobile phone fully charged. So even if you are using an app like Google Maps, which draws a high amount of current and can discharge your phone quite quickly over a longer duration, you won't have to worry about that with Stark Drive Tour.